Good to see you, and welcome back to the North East. Thank you very much. A long time away, because, I mean, it all started for you in Hartlepool, of course, John. Quite a while ago, obviously, 66, World Cup year, uh, started my career, got my foot on the ladder, as they say, first apprentice the club ever had, and then obviously Brian Clough took over as manager, and my progress into the first team came very, very quickly, and obviously was involved in the promotion for the first time in the club's history, and was absolutely <laughs> delighted to be a, a member of the side. Memories of that first season, in the promotion winning season? Well, it was a, a great season for us. Obviously, Brian Clough had left the club. Angus McLean had taken over as the manager and thankfully we managed to improve from the season before. And with a late run, a great late run, um, we actually managed to pull it off. And the not unique thing, but quite strange thing about it was that we played Swansea away at Swansea on the Monday night, won promotion and thankfully had the, the last game of the season at home against Swansea again to uh, a big house. I think there was about 11,000 there, which was a massive gate in those days for Hartlepool's United. United and uh, it was just a tremendous time to celebrate uh, making history for the club. Any particular memories? Obviously promotion was massive for you but anything else that you remember well about your times at the big? Well I just you know when you become an apprentice I think well you know with a chance I'll get into the first team but thankfully I got into the first team very very quickly and learned from some great players that I played with. Tony Parry was a player that uh, taught me an awful lot. Les Green the goalkeeper when I first joined he actually taught me an awful lot as well and used to come back in the afternoons to help me improve my crossing because in those days I I was an outside right just a great bunch of lads and I think you find that with every successful team that they are a good bunch of guys as well as being good footballers any memories of the town in Hartlepool what, what do you recall well I lived on what they call the central estate in between the old town the fishing port and West Hartlepool and I just obviously went to school initially there after moving down from Scotland when I was seven years of age so I grew up there um, enjoyed my schooling there and um, still got a very good friend Kenny Jessup that lives in Hartlepool who I played with for Central Park which was my only season in junior football and it was rugby your background because that seems to be the thing was was that way were you destined to, to play rugby then well I loved all sport and passed my 11 plus went to Henry Smith Grammar School and uh, captained the cricket team for three years captained the rugby team for three years and at one stage wanted to be a tennis player Hartlepool these days spinning on quite a few years from the promotion days in your era in the 60s what's your thoughts now because I know you've visited uh, the Vic several times since uh, your days in the 60s well I still look for the result on a Saturday <laughs> that's one thing for sure um, and obviously the, the Victoria ground I remember playing in the first game they had there under floodlights which was a real occasion for me and, and for the club also but um, I've heard recently Recently, they're in the process of getting the ground back or buying the ground back and that would be tremendous uh, because I think every town needs a successful football team and let's just hope that Hartlepool's fortunes turn around and they become exactly that. And you would support that then? You would say the fantastic idea that council get together and, and give the club Iowa the support and, and give them the ground, yeah? Football clubs are the focal point of most towns and cities and I think that uh, there's a good feel-good factor around the town if you get a successful football team but uh, to get back to, to owning the ground would be a tremendous step in the right direction for improving the club. In general you're around there's a, a great buzz about the club now isn't it? It's changed totally since your days when really it was a bit of a joke wasn't it? And how you managed promotion in 67, 68 is unbelievable really but look at it now and it's certainly held in a lot well a lot high esteem isn't it these days? Yeah it certainly is. I, I can remember we had a squad squad of I think 14 players. That was in the good old days where at Easter used to play three games in four days. With a squad of 14 we still didn't get tired so if you hear about the modern footballers getting tired it's just an excuse good to see you thanks for turning out tonight really appreciate it okay thank you